right, all right, all right. I get it, boys. I've seen your comments. I understand. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I made a video about a year ago called Who is the First VTuber, right? And um, honestly, before even watching this, I 100% suggest you watch that. It kind of will clarify things. So, so, basically, what I'm doing is kind of like re um, stating my opinion and the reason why I believe that Annoying Orange is a VTuber. Yes, Annoying Orange is the VTuber, and not only a VTuber, the first VTuber. As you clearly see, I got a lot of comments of people that's not really agreeing with me. That's totally fine. That's not the whole reason I even thought of making this video. So, the big reason is this one guy decided to comment on my channel 20 times and replied to a bunch of other people basically posting the same thing yeah so as of recording this video i was recording i got a i checked my comments on my video and this guy <laughs> commented again his also his uh, explanation because he posted the same thing over and over again really encapsulates all of um everybody else's opinions on whether or not uh annoying orange is a youtuber or not so i'm gonna read them real quick and we'll get through it and i'll explain with with with, with you know my my sources why i believe annoying orange is um the first vtuber i'm gonna probably say a lot of the same stuff i said in the original video so like i said check that out and let's just get right into it he said an orange is not a vtuber dot 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 he said one vtuber is actually a character in the virtual world not an orange that has a person's actual facial expression edited into it so this is the craziest thing. So the reason I stated that v the Annoying Orange was a VTuber was because Annoying Orange, for the time, the technology they had at the time, because stuff like Face Rig did not come out to like 2015, allowing people like Kuzunai and other people, well, okay, it's not 100% confirmed, but it's uh, thought that Kuzunai used to use Face Rig in order to do her whole character stuff um, back in the day. All right, back to what I was saying. Due to the time what they had, the, the, you know, with the technology and with, uh, you know, how far software had went, I believe that, you know, uh, Annoying Orange was the first VTuber. Yes, it's just somebody's face kind of like Im uh, Im imposed over an orange. And, um, you know, you can make your argument about that. However, he's still just, I mean, what's the difference between him and another VTuber? A VTuber doesn't have to be quote unquote anime esque or has to be like, you know, cute or anything. There, I've seen the egg VTubers. I've seen a whole, there's a whole range of VTubers out there. And you guys, there's even a freaking Autobots uh, VTuber who I saw. There is no restrictions to what is a VTuber. Anything can be a VTuber. Um, it's just that Annoying Orange was, it was the first one to come out. And the earliest example of a VTuber with the um, technology that was available now his second it says second point he said vtuber comes from the virtual world so that means that they come from the 2d or 3d dimension but knowing orange from the hd universe and with our universe is too realistic to be called a vtuber uh, so there's this vtuber code miko who's super hyper realistic she does amazing stuff you should watch her streams crazy really good high quality you know model and then she uses like a 3d haptic she goes insane with it it's super crazy and this is probably the best example i can find to a hyper realistic uh vtuber model and i don't really understand his argument with the second point and some other people have said the same thing that the reason that annoying orange is a vtuber is just because he's a jpeg of a of an, of an orange with uh, someone's face over it that doesn't disqualify him from being a vtuber it's just that at that time it was the only technology available to them and you know it's all they could be able to make using what they had and so yeah that's all i really have to say for that now let's get to point three Annoying Orange, most videos are just a live action series, not a virtual world where VTubers operate and are not allowed to show their faces. So not allowed to show their faces. This is something that's kind of like an unwritten rule in the virtual YouTuber fan base thingy. It's a really weird rule to me. If a VTuber chooses to show their face or shows their face before they become a VTuber, they're in their own right to do whatever they want. I don't know why people make it such a big deal or why people decide that you cannot show your face or else the immersion is ruined. As soon as people see her their faces or they like have like a mess up or something or they decide to you know oh this is me people just completely shut off and they go like monkey mode i don't know and then they just start hating on the vtuber for them showing their face they're people too that's the other thing however the whole point of it, i understand their point where the whole point of being a vtuber is kind of separate the person from the vtuber you know having two different scenarios but if uh the vtuber decides to show their face i feel like they're totally in the right to do whatever they want 
so this is a really weird one and then no orange is live action series so no in orange when he began yes it was more skits based and all that and it turned into a show and then yes there's interactions with live actions in the show but that happened later on but i'm talking about the beginning of him when he was just doing little skits and stuff and there's nowhere that says that vtubers can't do skits there are vtubers that literally make little joke skits of them just making noises and stuff and they, that's totally fine like it's they can do whatever they want you know it there's, there's no cap to their type of content they can make it really isn't so this this is why point three it makes absolutely no sense to me yo, hey, hey, yo. point four only those who paved the way to for the vtuber industry deserve to be called the first vtuber now let me ask you why is the original creator of the ballpoint pen not named but a journalist and his cousin who created a new ballpoint pen because only one person opens an era or an important event deserves to be considered the source for all this is the most insane <laughs> definition for first i've ever ever heard you know the first guy to climb mount everest is first because he made it to the top first and you know what i'm gonna pull out the definition of first the definition of first preceding all others in time order or importance that's it they were first, you know, they were there before anybody else. And the whole pave the thing, I will admit that Kuzan and I, she did coin the term um, virtual VTuber, virtual YouTuber. She did that. And I will not take that away from her. She was the first one to use that label on herself. And she was the one to make it popular and 100%. However, she was not the first example of VTuber. There was plenty of other examples before her. However, they didn't call themselves VTubers. So that's basically... I mean, first, like, yeah, pave the industry. Like, that's like saying that um, that Henry Ford made the first car. When Henry Ford did not make the first car, what he did, he was the first one to mass produce a car. And the first guy to make a car was actually uh, Carl Frederick Benz. He was the guy that made the first true automobile, and it was gasoline powered, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? And then. Yo. Annoying Orange is a VTuber, because by definition, a VTuber is a virtual YouTuber. Nowadays, the, the term has gotten a little broader. Now it includes Twitch streamers and all that. But at the end of the day, the essence of the word vert VTuber is a virtual YouTuber. So, by definition, Annoying Orange is a virtual YouTuber. Um, there's, you can still argue, you know, there's some small things, like the biggest thing is the fact that he's not really 100% animated, but my defense for that is just because, just simply, they did not have the technology at the time in order to make him, you know, the virtual YouTube we have nowadays, like stuff like the people used originally, like face rig and stuff like that didn't come out till 2015. And so that's basically it guys, just letting you know, annoying orange is the first vtuber and uh yeah so hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like comment subscribe you know do all that stuff uh also follow me on twitter i tweet every now and then if you ever want to tweet some random shit at me go ahead i won't not oppose to it and um if you guys ever want to you know uh, i'm on tiktok I, i'm on everything man just look up afbg you'll find me i'll see you guys in the next one um i'll hopefully have something a little more fun next time and uh see you guys in the next one bye